Okay, boys and girls, today we'll be learning about sequencing. So we are, going, we are learning how to put things in order. We're going to learn how to write sentences in order on Scramble because some sentences will be jumbled up and you'll have to put them in order. Now, we do things in a certain way, in a specific order around the house. Now, at times, your mommy will be in the kitchen and she'll be making what? Dumpling, yes, man. But I'm sure mommy just don't open the bag and take out the dumpling. She has to do something first. She has to get somewhat flour. And this is whole wheat flour. Some of you will see mommy using this flour at home. Some of you will also see the white flour. So first, mommy must get flour. And she will add salt to it. I don't want any salt to my dumpling, right? So here we have the flour. And then to make the dumpling, she has to add some what? Water. Good. Now when mommy adds the water, she has to knead up the flour. Mm-hmm. Go again. So now we are making dumplings today. And to make our dumplings, we have to follow a specific order. First we get the flour. Then mommy adds water. Then next, she needs the flour. I see it coming together like this. And I'm sure you see mommy doing this when she's going to put her dumplings in the soup. Or she's cooking the dumplings with potato and yam. Yes. So now we, right? So good. We have it into a dough now. And mommy now will, like teacher, will take off pieces. See? We are ready now to make our dumpling. Then mommy has to do what now? Roll it up like this, man. Into a ball or you say a circle. Good. And then we look at that. Press it out like that. We have one dumpling there. Roll again. Two dumplings. I wonder who is this big one for? And JD said this one is for him. Good. Three dumplings. Now, can we eat? Can we eat them like this now? No. So, we're still not finished. Mommy will put these now in hot water in the pot. And then they will boil. Or we say they will cook. And then, Mommy puts them in your plate with your mackerel or your sardine or your saltfish or your chicken. And then you eat. So, remember, sequencing. And things go in order good so that's how, what we're learning today how to put things in order and we're going to look at other things around the house how to get a tomato fruit firstly we have to dig a hole using a machete then we take our dried seeds and place it in the hole only one and cover that hole after covering the hole we water it just a splash after days it grows into a beautiful plant and months later, a tomato fruit will be produced. First a seed, then a plant, then the fruit. Okay, so we are blowing balloons today for a birthday party. Here I have one, two, three balloons. Don't focus too much on the colors now. Alright, so the aim is to blow a balloon. What happens first? Good. First, we must have the balloon. And look at this one. No air is in this one as yet. So this is first. We are putting the pictures in order. So this would be first. Now, look at the sizes of these balloons. As you put air in there, which would be second? Good. This one, less air first, and you continue to blow, and 
the bigger it gets, this would be third. So sometimes we see pictures and they are not placed in order and we have to look and place them in order. Now, we can use sentences also. Let's read together. I go to school. I wake up. I take a bath. Now, it's morning. What's the first thing you do? Yes, good. I wake up. That's the first thing, thank God. So I put first. So we're ordering these sentences to make them sensible. Good. Make a little story. So I wake up. Do you just get up out of your bed and go straight to school? No. No. I take a bath. Second. So now our sentences are making sense. I wake up. I take a bath. And the last thing now, I go to school. So remember, sentences were all jumbled up, but we can read and put them in order. And that's what is called sequencing.